What up, this your boy Boss, and welcome back to the channel. As always, I appreciate y'all coming through, kicking it with your boy, man, and just checking out the videos because you know the grind don't stop. And we is back with another video for you guys. So in today's video, we are going to be setting up a new African cichlid breeding tank. I have a species of African that I've been working with for probably about 30 days now, quarantining them. And I want to upgrade them to a little bit of a bigger tank so we can try to get some fryer out of these guys. So the species that I'm working with is called the Jewel Spot African cichlids. These guys come from the West African waters. They're pretty territorial fish, just like most mabunas but these guys are really territorial i'm watching the male right now chase all the females around they're very territorial fish but they're very beautiful fish as all africans are so we're going to be upgrading them guys to a little bit of a bigger tank setting a little escape up for them and hopefully we can start breeding these guys so before we get to that i need to unbox um some stuff right here that i got sent in the mail to me um today this is from a company um, out of florida called creative coral designs they make like a lot of different inserts for salt water and fresh water they're kind of like more of a commercial company but they're trying to get into the more retail side and they sent your boy a custom made piece we're going to be using that today on this african cichlid tank so i'm finna to uh open this bad boy and we're gonna see what this thing looking like now the company it's a pretty cool company i'm not gonna lie i'll leave their stuff down below if you guys want to check their stuff out but they really have some nice little inserts if you into like salt water or if you into like having like more artificial decorations in your aquarium they make that type of stuff let's take a look at this thing and i told them i wanted something that was more natural because you guys know i'm into the more like natural stuff um, so they made this custom piece for your boy super dope you can see it got like a driftwood and some like fake moss on it turn it around so you guys get another look at it super dope little piece man not even gonna lie it's nice and heavy and we're gonna be using this today to bring this african cichlid breeding tank to life but yeah that's a super dope artificial piece you guys can let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it we finna um start working on this tank and i'm gonna set the camera up so you guys get a better angle so stick around but before we get started i want to show you guys this if you look inside this tank there is a exodon in here swimming i can't understand i'm like what the hell is this dude doing up in here he then jumped his butt out of this tank and made it down here thank god that he uh landed in here and not on the floor so we got to get him out of here before we uh move them africans in here but i thought that was uh funny as heck that this dude didn't jump himself down here but we finna start placing this stuff in this tank i want to keep this very simple most of all my african cichlid breeding tanks are very simple because when it's time to catch the females out you don't want to be having to pull a bunch of rocks out and do all that so i keep things very simple so we're gonna use this piece as like the main focal piece so hopefully this thing fits up under here oh right, yeah it does i think i like this piece like that it looks really good in there we'll add in a couple other pieces of rock just to give the cichlids a few more little places to like refuge under or next just to get away from the male because the male is pretty aggressive they're still fairly small fish um so he don't do too too much damage to these females but yeah i like that right there very simple and effective because once they start breeding and i gotta catch the females out of here to strip them i don't want to have to be trying to like maneuver through a whole bunch of rocks so as you see we got the little tank scaped up a little bit it's looking good i like it I'm not even gonna cap like the little artificial piece in there my background then got all wet so it's normally white but you can see on the other side it's kind of like got some water spots on it but I'll fix that off camera. But we finna go ahead and start adding these fish in here so they can start breeding, man, because I need some fry of these guys. First, we'll do the male first. Nice male. Go ahead and get him in here. I'm sure he's gonna go into hiding. We got one male and five females, so we got a really nice ratio. Uh, this is what the females look like they're not as colored up as the males are but nevertheless still beautiful fish they kind of more on the grayer side you can see that male popping up in the front over there got that blue and then you got like some baby blue stripes all over them they already out exploring liking it already let me turn down the aperture a little bit so you guys can get a little bit of a better look but yeah it's looking good I'm gonna let these guys get adjusted for a second 
and then we will come back and give you guys a little better look at them once they get adjusted in this water clear up so stay tuned let's give you guys a little update on our giant garami and i decided the name man i really like the name pinky um i've seen that a lot in the comment section so i really like pinky man so this is our new garami pinky i just fed them I'm trying to see if you'll eat i fed them this morning that's why the water is a little bit cloudy i just want to see if you'll eat on camera for you guys but he doesn't look that hungry nobody in here looks really hungry so i stay feeding these guys but everybody in here is doing good he's definitely doing good him and the um blood paired that's back there in the back they've been hanging out i'm like they better not be trying to breed or something <laughs> but they've been here hanging out man i really love this fish definitely gonna be adding him to the pond probably next week hopefully if everything goes well um, but they definitely not eating the food right now i thought they was gonna eat for y'all i want you all to see him eating but he's definitely not eating i fed them like so much tilapia and shrimp last night and pellets they probably fool but yeah everybody in here is doing fantastic and uh that's the new name man pinky he's the new mascot pinky the garami can't wait to get him in the pond also while we let him get adjusted i have this lake Victorian female that's holding right now and we need to strip her so let's do that right now see how many fry we can get out of her it's always something in the fish rooms never fails I got new babies every day. Look, he done went back in her mouth. Get out. Normally I wouldn't strip her like this, but just trying to show you guys how I get things done. So let's take a look at the new tank. And these Africans, you see that jewel spot male is, I love that black on him though. It's like just jet black with that powder blue in there. Females are really not colored up at all, but the males are stunning. But they look like they're doing really good in here. Way more active in this tank than it was in the quarantine tank I had them in. So I can already tell they're happy in here, swimming around, exploring. And hopefully we can get some fry out of these guys. But I definitely would love to have quite a few of these males in like a big tank or like the 407 gallon pond It'd be nice to have a bunch of these guys in the future so definitely going to start breeding them you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this tank today and did we take a w so i think we did but yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video i um, just wanted to set that tank up today hopefully you guys learned something about a different new species of fish today and we got to strip some fry we got a little update on pinky Shout out to Pinky. That's the new name uh, for our giant Garami. Uh, you guys got an update on him. And there's so much more down here in the fish room. I can make an hour long video. Uh, probably longer than that talking about everything that's down here. So I try to like, you know, put things in each little video just to give you guys update on different things and do different new stuff. So I hope you guys been enjoying the content. We're definitely going to keep grinding. The grind don't stop like I always say. That might be my new little slogan. I might have to put that on a shirt. Grind don't stop because this, that's definitely the way to go. But that's gonna be pretty much it. Gonna feed some fish, go spend some time with some family. Make sure you guys enjoy your day. Spend time with your loved ones. Keep hustling, keep grinding. Don't stop chasing your dreams and goals and uh, everything will work itself out as long as you put in the work. So that's gonna be pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out of here.